you are. You're my little pony. You're joking, Mr. T. <laughs> and then you get your own Heroes of Hope cake. I've lived in Germany. I lived there for three years, so therefore I speak German kind of fluently. I enjoy the beach. I, although I really just like the hot weather for the weeks that I'm at the beach, and then I wish it was like a steady 60 degrees all the time. I have a couple of other drivers who will harass me about my spreadsheets because I, I take attendance, so I, I to learn the names. I I can go back three years ago and tell you who rode the bus what day. And so, you know, what a, one of our other drivers often, or, or for just any time he has something, oh, Andrew, get a spreadsheet for that. Get a Little known fact, I wish I had been a wide receiver for a football team. That was my dream. <laughs> also another dream to be a fighter pilot in the Air Force, like my father. So those are two things that I wish, that would have been a fun other life I could have had, maybe. I used to work at Starbucks, so I'm becoming a barista. It's one of my favorite things. Something I'm grateful for uh, this week is just my job. I just, I have a good time with the people I work with. I feel like I can be my authentic self and truly advocate for people who need me. And um, it's fulfilling. The support of my team members, um, I think coming in every day and having their support and encouragement of just like, have a great day, do you need anything, um, how are you doing, has really helped. I derive energy from um, feeling like I make a difference, um, even if it's somebody telling me that I, good that I did a good job, or if it's from someone saying thank you, or if it's just from me realizing that it actually did um, help advocate to meet a need, even if it's never acknowledged. There's just something that clicks inside when you realize that you've, um, you've bridged that gap. That one-on-one -on -one connection with students is energizing, but sometimes when you get a large group of, okay, I need to take a step back. And, and so I think it does help to, to know each student because it's not a, I've got a group of students I have to deal with. It's a one-on-one -on -one with each student. And I think that helps a lot with, with keeping me going as opposed to just being overwhelmed. I think focusing in like on the moments like when you do have like make an impact on a child and you see that you know they come in in the school and the first thing they say hey Miss Grace like this is what I did this weekend like I missed you so much and like all this stuff so that really pushes me to like you know that might not happen every day but when it does I kind of internalize it and I'm like okay keep going you know you might not get it yesterday but maybe we'll get it tomorrow. One thing that makes me happy is having connections with other people and being able to really truly get to know the students, staff, or you know, friends outside of school. Something that makes me happy is helping people actually. Um, like seeing how I can influence someone else's life, um, but also like just making a difference and everything. It's kind of it makes me happy. And coffee. Coffee makes me happy too. So I've always been sort of of the mindset of helping others, and it's a great position to be able to be in a school setting and still do the social work kind of things that I get to do, and yet see the educational experience and work with so many different professions. It's odd. I actually uh, got my tractor trailer license first, and in the process of doing that, decided I didn't like it, and I. I finished and got the license, so I, I can do that as a fallback. I decided I didn't want to be away from home. I didn't want to, and so I, I started looking for where I could take what I'd learned and apply it without having to be on the road every night. And this became a, you know, oh, well, I'll, I'll go here. Five years later, I'm still here, so. I really appreciate this position because it allowed me to do my first and most important job, which was to be a mom. And I appreciated that. <laughs>